One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up, everyone? It's uh, Tommy Zhu here. Uh, I hope you guys had a great weekend and also a great trading week this week. Uh, uh, today, we just had a you know, pretty, pretty dope uh, weekend mentoring session. Uh, it was really good. Uh, so if you miss it, uh, you know, go watch the video. I think Alex just posted right now, a few minutes ago. Uh, yeah, we went a lot, like we went over a lot of charts. Uh, so uh, I think a lot of good comments, uh, you know, for myself, Harry, uh, Austin, Claw, Edson as well. So, uh, you know, I hope, uh, you know, that helps. Yeah, uh, I'm feeling a little bit sick today, so you know, excuse me, you know, if my voice or you know, in if I cough, uh, you know, suddenly. Uh, so I hope you guys understand. Uh, I'm just trying to kind of, you know, to go over one of my trade uh, on Friday, and also to go over uh, the algo that we've seen this week. Okay, this is like, uh, you know, we haven't seen like I have not seen this before. It's really crazy. And so, you know, I hope you guys can pick up some of the lessons uh, from this and uh, and how to kind of avoid next time, you know, to get caught in, you know, one of those. I mean, it's really rare. Uh, you know, it happens maybe one out of ten. Those are the outliers. But still, uh, we like, you know, shit happens right? in, 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 in trading. Uh, like, you know, you have to kind of expect the unexpected. Uh, so... Uh, uh, and I just want to make this video to, you know, prepare you guys uh, for next time if you guys see this. So uh, to to know, you know, how and, you know, and which to avoid, basically. So uh, I'm going to pull up the chart here. Uh, you know, Invo, right? Uh, you know, we've seen this. This is like I took a pre like pretty bad loss uh, on this one. And, and you know... Uh, the theme here is that you can, you know, you can see kind of, you know, gap up big on this on uh, Monday, I think. What was it? Uh, Pre-market, yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, it just uh, broke this line and then ended up fading, 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 and then suddenly rips, right? And you know, right at, I think, Tuesday, right at open, you know, it kind of dies out here and then kind of reclaim uh, all that and you know and it kind of fake out uh, you know check out all the uh, like the, the the stubborn shorts here right basically squeeze all them out you know longs are chasing it again and then when it's you know really suddenly pull this one and we thought that this is over right I mean you know this support you know gets bro uh, you know gets broken this one you know breaks this one as well and I mean a lot of our thesis like in MIC uh, that we teach is to show the broken stocks right I mean you can clearly tell you know the top is set basically the top is set here at 7 and so in that morning I was pretty I mean I'm, I'm I think I mean uh, you know a lot of traders uh, got caught in this me myself James Alex I mean you know, this is clearly the broken chart, okay? And there's nothing wrong with it. You know, our process or our strategy, I mean, it's been solid for, for years now, right? I mean, we've been, you know, trading the same thing over and over again. But this is just one of the stocks that, you know, risk management is everything, right? So, on this one, I think uh, I showed it some here and covered down here. It was pretty good. Uh, and then when I saw it was like grinding higher, right, you know, I tried to kind of short it, you know, 6.5. And when it gets to 6.5, I said, okay, you know, this is was like a pretty kind of stubborn for me. And I said, you know, I got to be 7, right? I mean, you know, 7 is really the outer line. Uh, also the pre-market. And I said, okay, you know, I'm going to try it here. And I was so confident in it, you know, that I just left my order, you know, up there. So... And in, immediately it kind of fell and, you know, I got stuck in a hole. And, you know, the moment it kind of broke this line and I knew something was wrong. So, uh, you know, got lucky 
yeah, I kind of got out 7.9 right on this, you know, kind of dip or like open. And then immediately after that, it's kind of hold it all the way to 11. I mean, uh, there's, there's not much I can, you know, explain about this because this is really like nuts, really rare situations that, uh, you know, you've seen some uh, broken, you know, stocks like this. And I don't know what's the cause of it, right? Maybe the algos, you know, new types of algos that they've been pulling out. I mean, traps, a uh, bunch of shorts here. We've got, you know, cover squeeze out, trap, you know, a bunch of longs here. And then they suddenly kind of dip into this and, you know, rips at, you know, right at open. Maybe the overnight shorts are still pretty much in, involved in this one until... Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. It kind of squeezed out everyone here and gets all the way to tough i mean to be honest and nev have never seen something like this before and so how can you avoid it right like i'm going to show you here another example entx okay pretty pretty much the same thing okay guys you know it ran up huge and then it dies down right and then reclaim back again the next morning Yes, all the people are shorting down here. They are stuck. Right? And then, you know, immediately at open, stock did exactly the same thing. Maybe zoom out here. Top set here, you know, Tang broke this support. Top set here. And then, you know, I mean, initially, 6.6 .6 was good, right? Like this line. If you know I was trading it, I would shorten this line, and maybe my max outline would be this one and stop over that, right? I mean, that's pretty much the thesis. But since I've been, you know, getting squeezed on that INVO before, and I've noticed a similar pra like pattern here. I mean, look like this. Stock kind of ran up, you know, the previous day. It dies, right? And to me, after this move. The stock should have tanked lower, right? Usually, what we've been seeing, you know, in in, in small caps line, like you know, they will want to kind of pop this on some sort of new, and and, and then they want to dump the shares, right? Because a lot of baggies are on this chart. Uh, but uh, on EMTX, let me go back. Yeah, like you know, all the weeks. I mean, stock is pretty much dead, right? You know, it went up here and then gave back all all it's uh, gains right 7.8 and 4 and damn it, let me pull up time frame I like to use like more like a uh, 15 days and like two minutes uh, yeah so you know when I saw something like this pretty much similar to I and I NVO yeah, see, try to die off here and then reclaim, right? Try to die off here and then reclaim immediately. I mean, to me, that's a short trap. And I've noticed on this one, it did pretty much the same thing, okay? You know, after this move below VWAP, the stock should have tanked lower, 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 right? Maybe four or uh, whatever line uh, here at this point. But then it reclaimed next morning. You know, just grinding. So I knew, uh, you know, there was something going on with this, with also, you know, the market lately with INVO. So I, you know, personally, I kind of want in in the main chat. Uh, not sure. Uh, hang on here. I'm going to find out the post that I kind of posted. Uh, sorry, guys. Just bear with me. I 
couldn't. Yeah. Six thirty. Twelve a.m. Uh, break even. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to bring up, damn it, damn it, uh, hang on one sec, yeah, so uh, this one, right, uh, sorry, I saw, took me a long, uh, took me a while, uh, 7 25 a.m. Uh, I kind of post it in the main chat ENTX. I don't like it, you know, that that much as a short. I uh, trapped a lot of shorts yesterday. The personality of the stock is, is what I don't like, so I'm gonna stay patient on this one. So, right before the open, I kind of warned that, you know, to everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure uh, if some of you guys kind of pay attention to that, but uh, you know, uh, I was looking for like pretty much the same move uh, from INVO, right? Kind of, you know, dip down here and then it's ended up squeezing. I mean, yes, in hindsight, I should have went long, but I knew that this was like maybe the algos that they're trying to pull, pull, uh, you know, uh, pull on lately. Uh, I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, uh, on something like this, uh, you know, I, I, I just, uh, you know, have a feeling that it's going to do exactly the same thing INVO because, you know, this move should have not done it, okay? If stock wants to go lower, it should have done it already. It shouldn't trap like that. So, immediately, I think that, you know, this is like a lot of shorts are trapped here and, uh, you know, if we can break, you know, over this pre-market high, it could, you know, really well over, uh, go over this line as well. And, you know, gonna get into a hole, another hole here, and it went like to 10. So, I s basically waited out on that trade, and, excuse me, and uh, and then, uh, you know, I kind of, you know, go back into the MIC process, uh, pretty much. Uh, you know, wait for the top to, to set, and then you, you show back the bounce, right? And so, you know, that's basically what I did. And uh, I'm gonna show you, show you the execution on this one. Uh, and next time I should have, you know, find this beforehand, so I don't have to kind of, uh, you know, spend time. Yeah, guys. So uh, yeah, I hope it helps. Uh, and you know, I just wanna be, uh, you know, helpful this week. Uh, you know, productive. And. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you still have any questions uh, regarding this, uh, let me know. And, uh, and, you know, I see you guys on the uh, next one. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.